Hello and welcome to the sixth video in this beginner programming series programming a tile puzzle game iOS Cocos 2D on the iPad. Um, I'll just excuse already if there's a bit of background noise so the old car or tweeting birds or something but it's absolutely burning hot today and I've needed to open all windows very wide to stop melting in the chair. Um, so in this video we're going to carry on straight from where we left off in the previous video and we're going to actually try and put an image on our background layer so the board image. Uh, in video 2 I made a file of resources, image resources available for download and in that file you should, should find a HD and a board normal board.png. I'll just drag the file names that I've got over here. So board-hd and board.png. If you just select both of those and drag and drop them into the resources area and then make sure you've got copy items to destination groups folder if needed, ticked, same options as I have and click finish. And this will add board HD and board.png to your resources folder. So inside the background layer itself we can now set about actually trying to add the image and as I explained a couple of videos ago about the how the coordinates work from with X across the top and then Y going from top to bottom and I hope you remember as well what I talked about anchor point where the anchor point for an image is based in the center of the image. So if we want to place our image in the center of the screen we simply have to position at the width of the screen divided by 2 by the height of the screen divided by 2. So to do that we actually need to get the size of the screen and the way we'll do that is simply to say CG size which is a size object and size equals and then we can actually ask our director so we can get the shared director and we can simply ask it for the window size as so and that gives us the window size and what we're now going to do is we're going to go to NS log which logs to the console and we're going to just quickly print out the size so I'm going to put our size and I'm going to put width and a colon and it's a float so a percentage F and height and a colon a percentage F and then I'm going to put size dot width and size dot height just so we print these out to the console because there'll be something actually I'll flip the console there'll be something interesting to see about this in a minute and now what we want to actually do, now we've got the size of our window and logged it to the console, we want to actually get our image. And that's quite simple as well. We just make a sprite using CC Sprite, a sprite class, and we'll call this board image. And we can actually create a sprite from a file name. So we just need to do CC Sprite and sprite with file, and then the at sign, and we'll give it the name board.png. And now what we need to do is we need to set the, I'll just change that to a small n, we need to set the position of this board image. So we'll do board image dot position and we'll do equal CCP and this is just a macro provided by Cocos2D that shortens making a CG point object which is just a point. And as I said the point will be size dot width divided by 2 and size dot height divided by 2 and this should put our board when we run the application in the middle of the screen. But Before we do that we actually need to add the image to the, uh, the layer so we use the add child and we'll add it at a z index of 0 like so and that's all there is to it. Now if we run the application all being well our scene will initialize It'll call here in the node command the initialization on our background layer, which will then fill in this image, the board image in this sprite here, board image, position it in the middle of the screen and add it to the layer, and it should be displayed. So let's actually run this application then on the simulator. And it's just going to whirl and compile for a couple of seconds for the first time and see what we get. I'll just drag it over into the screen here and what you can see is is the board is actually positioned not in the center of the screen at all it's to the left and too far up and interestingly if we go down to the console and have a look what's been written in the console 
You'll see that our size says the width is 768 and the height 1024, which obviously is incorrect, and Cocos 2D itself clearly thinks that the width is 1024 and the height 768. So the question is, is what's happened there? Well, the answer lies in what we saw in the template from Cocos 2D with the Hello World layer and the intro layer. You remember that last time the intro layer actually was using on enter rather than the init function. And the reason for this is there's a small bug in Cocos 2D that has something to do with screen flicker. But basically the first time you display something on the screen you actually need to use the on enter rather than the on init. So if I now simply just cut this code out of here and paste it into here like this, Oops, stop the application and now rerun the application. You'll see that our board is now nicely centered on the screen and if I go down to the logging information, just bring this up a bit higher, you'll see now that our size has 1024 by 768 and there's the board again. I'll just put that above the log. So that's a little gotcha that when I first started programming a, a while ago in Cocos 2D gave me a few days of frustration as to wondering why things weren't appearing in the center of the screen at certain times. Well, that's the reason and that's the workaround for it. Okay then, that's it for this video. We've got our board displayed on our background layer and in the next video we'll carry on with the development of the proper program itself. Thanks very much for listening. Comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.